Hi, I'm Caroline Ryder of Ryder Horsemanship. Last time we filled, filmed Bandit's Progress was about three weeks ago, and it is March 24th. We're about a week behind, just due to our scheduling, and I am here to show obviously Bandit's progress and how much better he's getting with his online work, his smooth transitions into the canters, canter departs, and most specifically the riding. This area, if the camera just wants to pan to the gate behind and all in front of the gate is going to be a problem area for Bandit and then back to me. And the reason why it's a problem area for Bandit or has been a problem area is um, his buddy sourness and lack of confidence and wanting to be back where he feels most comfortable. <clears throat> so right now it's 4.20 in the afternoon. It's, we've already fed everybody. He's been fed. He's had time to digest his food. So usually we've been working with Bandit around feeding time and just really working him through that, that bit of anxiety about feeding, which has been a, an issue. He definitely has some feeding anxiety or had feeding anxiety when he came here. And, uh, and then, of course, being buddy sour. He's very uh, wonderful, sweet, relationship-oriented horse. Just had some uh, hard knocks along the way, being a rescue, and then adopted by his current owner. And some confusing training, where it's just he hasn't had a lot of confidence in his, in his learning. So I think we're going to be showing some really good stuff. Uh, we, I'm choosing to work in front of the gate to just see, w to show his owner where he is with um, his ability to trust and be pushed and trust while he's being pushed. And when I say being pushed, it is a normal pressure, normal, normal pushing with training, meaning I'm going to ask now for a walk. I want the walk to be a certain speed. I want a certain level of lightness and contact, suppling through the body. I want to trot and then I want to canter. Most of the time we work out here further in the training field or down in the dressage area where he is much better. The further away, the better he is. He just ha get, has a lot of issues the closer he is. And a lot of horses do to the gate or to the, uh, the barn. So then we're going to do our work there. All right, so I'm just going to show the lunge. And right now, I just want him to back up, take a pause for a second or two, and push out. Good boy. So I'm looking for the three R's always, which is how responsive, how rhythmic, and how relaxed. And that'll be in all of my work. That will be not just the online, but it will also be in the riding. I'm just going to stop. Okay, I'm down to one bar. Give me a second. Yep. Why? What do you have to do? I'm fine. The oh. Okay. All right. Good boy. So response is for it within three seconds. Does he move out and in the direction that I I would like him? Yes. Good boy. Does he have rhythm? Yes. He has a nice engaged walk. Thank you for offering, but I need a walk. So he has a nice engaged walk, a working walk full of energy, which allows him to stretch. He's arced into me, which offers the shoulder in. Good boy. And he looks pretty relaxed in his body. And so I'm going to ask for the trot. And we're just going to work at the trot right now, shaping it, maintaining that shoulder in the more he bends and looks at me, the more he has to lift that inside shoulder, which helps to transfer the weight to the hind end and allows him to develop the strength and the self-carriage and the balance that's necessary for very smooth transitions in and out of speed and in and out of gates. And so this is what really helps to shape and define the canter because he has to really use that inside hind leg for balance. So this is really nice. Good boy. Good. That is absolutely fabulous. Nice canter to part. Good. Now we just want to maintain it. Good boy. So what we've been working on since Bandit has now into his 
his fourth month or fifth month of training actually he's in his fifth month of training we're working on his canters becoming more straight so originally when you start this work you know you're shaping the horse they're going to be really bent and the purpose is that they use that inside weight bearing leg for balance and that they lift the more bent they are the more they have to lift that inside shoulder let me get him out of my space good boy you're all right buddy good boy thank you so he's got to carry his body like this when he's looking at me and when he carries his body like this the more he stretches and uses and, and strengthens his top line in his inside hind leg and so eventually he's going to end up carrying his body more straight and balanced into that canter but in the beginning in the in the previous monthly progress videos that you'll see of him he's going to be a lot more bent and almost leaning and we really don't want the leaning but it's just part of the the evolution of the shaping of how he's going to develop better balance in self-carriage and to the point where he's going to end up the results going to be he's going to be more sh more straight like you'll see with Smokey or Sundance or Legend one of my schoolmasters so right good boy buddy and you really see how he's lifting his shoulder good and coming well underneath himself with his hind good now we just have to maintain it good boy so that's excellent to see good boy good 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 boy good yeah and what I love what's really developed and it always it does in all of the horses that work through this method of mine is that they start to offer they offer they're very very eager to offer um, you what you're looking for the movement the canter the trot whatever they're very tuned in because of the, the motivation is the praise the reward is positive reinforcement constantly and that positive reinforcement is obviously the praise I'm constantly telling him what a good boy he is and it's a relationship so he looks forward to that and the relationship just doesn't happen when he's standing here with me it's felt in the work so that's that's huge for them and that's huge thank you buddy he's a sweetheart he's a beautiful horse beautiful he got clipped the other week he looks so handsome yes you do good boy good good boy good good boy so yep just keep it here for a little bit just keep the energy and the stretching good good boy good and I'll ask for the trot after a couple of revolutions. Make sure that he doesn't assume to just go into a trot. Good boy. But the trot is really where he's going to stretch the most, track the best, use his top line. Good. And his inside hind leg for balance. Good. This arc is really important to the work. Good boy, Bandit. Good. Good. So I'm going to lift there into the canner. Beautiful. Really good, buddy. Good. Good. That was really beautiful. Good boy. Much straighter than the last time. Really nice. My assistant and who is working on her certification through my program here, Mia, has done a fabulous job. Um, I'm still working with her and coaching her, but she's worked really, really well on getting him to become more straight um, underneath of himself in lifting into that canter and not leaning. That's really great, buddy. All right. So I'm pleased with that. We're going to go ahead and get on. Now I'm just going to use this, since I don't have a mounting block right here at my disposal, I'm just going to use... The water trough. Use what's around me. Good boy. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. I think our pad's pretty good. You're pretty connected. 
You want a drink? Yeah, there you go. He's doing really well, you know, just thinking about how buddy sour he was when he first came here, he'd holler all the time. And it wasn't just for the horses that were next to him in the stall. I mean, we have the, the doors open for most of the horses and they just have a stall guard so they can put their heads outside the stalls and, and interact with us on a daily basis. But he'd just holler for anybody coming in and out. And then food, very anxious with feeding. So this is nice because his herd is way in the back. He can't see them. So he's just looking out at another herd. Come here, babe. Hopefully I don't end up in this. <laughs> we'll see, huh? Good boy. So I've never gotten on Bandit from the water trough, but this is a new, new thing for us. As you can see, he's like, what the heck? But you should be able to get on your horse anywhere. And he came to pick me up. That's beautiful. Just beautiful. Good boy, bye bye. You know, I'll use the trailer, I'll use the back of the car, I'll use whatever's around me wherever I am. And, you know, they should be okay with that. So, again, whenever I first get on, I'm not asking anything of my horse. So, I just want him to be able to stand here quietly. And then I want to be able to pick up my reins and supple him. Very nice. So when I supple right now, I'm just looking to see the corner of either his left eye and nostril, which means he's only breaking at the pull. I'm not looking for him to bend his neck. Or I want to see his right eye and right nostril. Good. Good boy. Now, so it's, it does take a little bit of time because sometimes they want to give so easily and so, so well. Good boy. That's very nice. Very nice contact. Yes, very nice. All right, so we're going to go warm up over here for a little bit before we move towards the gate. Good boy. Good. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Yep, so we're going to work on a nice circle, about 20 meters, give or take probably a little less right up here. Good boy. And again, I'm looking for the three R's. How responsive is he to my aids? And how rhythmic, regular is he? Does he have cadence? Is he smooth, consistent? And is he relaxed? And I right now, I kind of just want more of a working walk. I don't want a collected walk. I just want to work on him stretching out lengthening, getting some energy, and relaxing and feeling him get a little longer in his stride. And then I'll also be communicating with him through my rain aids, my hands. Good boy. And I want him to stay as straight on the circle as possible. So we've really been working on straight, which is about balance and strength. Good boy. So I'd like a little bit more energy. Good. Good boy. Good boy. He's doing fantastic. So if I feel like he dropped that inside shoulder, I'm going to grab, use my leg, which I've been working on. He pushed over nicely and my rain aids to pick him up and move him back over or to block him from dropping and drifting. So your rain aids control a lot. They control a lot of the body. They control the sh from the nose to the shoulders to the withers. And the more you drive a horse forward and then take your rain aids like I'm going to do to the left, so just that just takes his whole shoulder over to my left. And that's another way of suppling. And I don't have to pull him. I'm just asking for him to have some contact. The contact means he's got to bend and have some flexion, which means he's got to open up his pole and his shoulders and not have resistance and brace. And when I can feel that he opens up in my hands and underneath of me, 
then I can take that shoulder and lift it anywhere. So your hands stay together and keep the forward motion. Keep the forward motion with your seat. And you have your legs there as extra aids, of course, to help the horse stay within the frame of your aids. Good boy. So this is just some more advanced work I've been working on with Bandit. A lot more suppling. Good boy. And this kind of work asks the horse mentally and emotionally to focus. It's something that you can't ask a horse in the beginning because it takes a lot of confidence and trust in you to give you that attention and that level of focus. So it's taken time for him to become that obedient and that trusting. It's a balance, just like love and leadership is a balance. It's not all love all the time and it's not all leadership all the time. It's a little bit of both in different quantities all the time. Sometimes more than the other. Good boy. So one of the problems that Bandit had was he wasn't a very focused or confident horse. And he does great on the trail. His owner came out the last time, um, <clears throat> a few weeks ago actually, maybe almost a month ago, and rode him and he was just fabulous on the trail. So he handled her very well and she's a beginner rider about my age and they had a accident and that's why he ended up here so neither one of them were very confident after that so once I feel that he's pretty attentive and pretty soft and and I can take him and move him and he's straight straight is harder than you think I'm gonna start asking for the trot good boy Good, good boy. Good, and again, I want to feel the same quality that I felt at the walk. I want to still feel the straightness. I want to still feel the suppleness. The lightness in my hands, good boy. If I felt his left shoulder drift there at the, at the water or, drift, or his right shoulder right now drift in, I'm just going to pull the reins up and pull those shoulders over. Your reins can do a lot. They're, and people just don't know how to use them all the time correctly, meaning they pull out or pull back. So I'm just going to take him to the left right now, and then I'm going to take him to the right. But he's got to be listening. Oh, you're going to end up in the water trough. Come on. It looks easier than it is because he's got to trust me, and he has to become obedient. Good boy. And you also have to teach them to respond to your legs and your hands. But once they are responding and you can start moving that body, you have so much control. Good boy. Good. And this is how you'll start preparing your horse for half passes and side passes and lateral work. So if I take him at the trot to the right, a little bit, we're starting to work on some of our lateral work. And then I want to bend him back, good boy, and shape my circle to the right. And then I'm going to take his shoulder to the right again in my left leg and push, good, and take that shoulder, good boy. And then I'm going to bend him to the right again. Good boy. So we're just starting to introduce some lateral work, some leg yields. Good. Come on, babe. Good boy. So we'll do a couple more of those and to the left. Good boy. I'm going to use my right leg to push him and take his shoulder to the left. There, very nice. We'll come out in front of the camera. Good boy. So he's just trailing a little bit, drifting out into the left. Put my left leg on and my left rein. Good boy. Good boy, it's a nice trot. Very nice, Bandit. Good, good boy. Good boy.
And I'll ask for the canter. Good boy. Very nice. Whoop. Can that's the wrong lead. Thank you. Get him soft again. Good boy. Good boy. So I'm going to work on the canter around our bend here to the right. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Good. Good. Good boy. Good. So we've been working on suppling at the canter. Good. Good boy. Good. Good. Good boy. In keeping the energy. He kind of falls out and wants to come down to a trot. Good. So it's that balance. Good. Good. Good boy. Very nice. Of bringing him into the canter and maintaining the canter and being soft and coming back down into a trot transition that was pretty smooth. Good transition. Good boy. And we'll ask for the canter again. Good boy. I don't mind that he's got more speed because he can get really lazy. Good. Good. And trot. Yep, good. Back down to the trot again. So when I'm shaping this canner, I'm trying to lift my inside rein to lift his shoulder so he doesn't lean so much to the right. But he's still a little abrasive, or br he braces. Good. Nope, 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 didn't ask yet. Thank you. Good boy. Good. <laughs> Wait. Yep. Slow it down. Good boy. Good. Soft again. So if I feel that he loses that softness and suppling at the canner, I'm going to slow him back down and get it. And then invite him back into the canner where he's more relaxed and soft. I don't want to keep riding him when he feels really tight. And you shouldn't because that means the mind is tight and the body obviously is tight. So he's just a little rushed right now. And like I said, it's a balancing act to get him to not be so relaxed or too lazy to fall out of the canner and to maintain a good canner. Good, nice, good. So that was softer, good. I'm gonna lift that shoulder. He gets a little anxious. So we're gonna work through that just a little bit. Good, good boy. <laughs> Thank you, good boy. But he's getting softer and you can see that. Good, good boy. So I'm gonna change direction. Very nice, I would love to have this at the canner. That's what we are working towards. Not today, it'll happen hopefully by the next time we video that we'll have more of this softness. Good, good boy. Much better to the left, much better. Good boy. Good, good boy, much better. Nice, very nice. So that's just something to take into consideration with him. Um, you know, in the beginning, he was much more triggered on the left. The traditional riding side was always tighter, like most horses that have negative riding experiences or trauma. And now he's just a little bit more pensive going to the right. So perhaps we've worked a little too much on the left. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. So the transition work is really going to shape. We're going to go towards the gate now. Good boy. Thank you, buddy. That was beautiful. Let's see if he wants a drink. It's always nice when the horse can drink with you or go to the bathroom. Not just, you know, number two, but, but tinkle um, with you when you're riding because it tells you they're very relaxed and especially if they drink. It's very, tr very trusting. So I don't want him to walk off and take me to the gate. So we're just gonna come back. 
but you can still see how he gets a little bit worried when you bring up his adrenaline. You know, when you are near the gate, he wants to be at the gate or back at the barn. So this is what we are still working on. It took us a long time to get to this. He's been bolting. We've had to work through some pretty serious um, panic attacks by the gate. No, you're not taking me to the gate. So just relax right here. Thank you. Good boy. So we will work at the gate and we will see what shows up at the gate. I still have a battery, good. All right, buddy, good boy. All right. Good, good boy. Come on. Good. Good boy. Good. So you can just see how he's taking me to the gate still. Good boy. So a lot is going on with the gate. You know, one, you've, you've, we have certainly had our come to Jesus at the gate where we've gotten off or, or rid him through some really reckless moments of his where he's just out of his mind. But there's also the reality that he's pulling you to the gate not because he's punking out and I'm going to tap his stomach with my, my heel to put a little pressure on him to say, no, that's not the behavior I want, okay? But he, he definitely has some anxiety, so it's quite, it really takes a lot of experience because if you're not careful, you could really blow a horse. And with, what that means at the gate, you could blow and push him so hard that they, they end up resorting to absolute fight and flight, and they can rear, and they can buck, and they can charge through the gate or try to jump the gate. So I don't want to push that, we never have, but he's also got to get worked by the gate and past the gate because when he's unsure, that's his security blanket. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Good boy. And his security blanket needs to be you. And how do you tell the difference between a horse that's just punking out and a horse that was really full of anxiety. And how hard do you push? Well, that takes a lot of experience. I can't be the one to tell you because every horse is different and every horse has a different experience even though it's similar. And you always need to be safe and you have to do what you are capable of doing. Good boy. So if you notice, traveling to the left, with his left eye, it's not such an issue, but traveling with his right eye, and when we were cantering, his right side was very stiff and very triggered. Good boy. So that's getting better. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Yeah. So I'm just going to keep doing this at the walk and what I'm looking for again is how responsive, how rhythmic, how relaxed, how supple does he feel. Those things, just keep looking for that. You know, if he's hesitating, he's not rhythmic. If he's tight, he's not relaxed. And if he keeps pausing, he's not responsive. Or if he's not listening or if he's shutting down. Good boy. Good. I'm going to take him away. Good boy. Good boy, buddy. Good. Now, he is not nearly as barn sour, gate sour with the other horses if when they're out here in the training area. But honestly, I mean, this is what we have to work through. You need to be able to ride him anytime and anywhere and not have him decide, okay, I've had enough, or I can't, I can't deal with this, and you need to pay attention to what it, what it looks like and what it feels like when he says, I can't deal with this. 
start looking for the feeling the body when it's no longer relaxed and no longer does what you ask it to do is there resistance in the body and that's obviously telling you something a lot of people just get frustrated and start kicking and pushing their horse through that and the horse will escalate if they're provoked they're going to go into fight or flight and there's no doubt about it you have to be really careful good boy so we're going to just trot by the gate good boy And I'd like his ears on me, focused on me, not the horses. Good. Good boy, buddy. I'm going to change direction. Put his right eye at the gate. Good. And supple him. There. Good boy, buddy. Excellent. Excellent. Good boy. But he's looking all around. Okay. So that tells you he's not quite confident. You can go to the bathroom and trot. Good boy. So when he's pretty steady and straight and his ears are either relaxed to the side or on me, then I know he's focused and more confident. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Excellent. We're going to pick up a canter. Good. Good boy. Good. Good. Good boy. He's tight, but that's fine. Because, come on. And just like I said, he's tight. Come on. The gate is not where you're going to be safe. Let's go. You're safe with me. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Good boy. Get your mind back on. Good boy. You got to work through it. You got to work through it, buddy. Yeah, good. Good. Good boy. So he has a lot of trauma with cantering. And I've known that. Good. A lot of trauma. He did online. He does when you ride. Come on. Good boy. Let's go. Yep. Good. So I'm going to put a, a lot of pressure on him as much as I think he can take without blowing by the gate and redirect him and take the pressure off and he's going to keep trotting. He's, I'm going to keep that adrenaline up. He's got to learn how to handle that and find safety and comfort. Good boy. Good boy with me in that adrenaline. Good. Good boy. Good boy, buddy. Let's go back to the gate. Good. Good. And is it a little bit of disobedience? To some degree it is. Of course he's punking out. It's too hard. It's too hard for him. I'm not saying that he's not. But I believe in my experience the majority of his actions are caused from an insecurity and a lack of confidence. And, you know, the lack of confidence comes when you push that adrenaline. So, come on. Come on, bandit. Come on, and stop holding your breath. You hear him holding his breath because he's freezing. We're going to go right back to that. So everything was pretty good until I started the canter, correct? Good boy. Good thing is, knock on wood, he's not bolting. He's not panicking. We've worked through all of that in his time because he used to. He's just saying, I've had enough. This is too scary. I don't want to do this anymore. Good boy. Good. Good boy. And I'm saying that's not allowed. You have to keep trying. You have to keep trying. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Excellent. Good boy. So we'll stop over here. That was the best one right now. Good. Good. And we're not done cantering. We're not done working through that. You know, one of the things with Bandit, he still has a tight lower lip every time. Every time. I think he just started relaxing his lower lip on the trail ride. But every time we go to work with him, his lower lip is pursed. Not as much as it used to be, but it still is. So that tells you he still has tension, obviously. In apprehension. Good boy. Nope. Nope, I'm just fixing my reins. Thank you. Good. 
So a lot of the areas you know that he that were a problem for his owner when he came they're fixed um, now I'm digging deeper because those areas were a symptom of a deeper cause and that's my specialty so you know he doesn't he's not at all worried at the mounting block you can get on him anywhere he's completely calm we can work in and out of our walk trot and canter he does have some tension and nervousness and anxiety and apprehension at the canter it it stimulates their adrenaline which is their their fight flight or freeze so he gets stuck that's his freeze mode he gets oppositional that's his fight mode and then he wants to flee that's his flight mode so this is the last layer of work and it's the toughest one because this is the cause this is the last one we've we've fixed everything else and nobody else rode him like this. I mean, we canter him every day. Nobody else rode him like this or worked with him like this. So they never saw these problems, the consistency of these problems. And they certainly weren't helping to, to help him gain the level of confidence that he needed in a person, good boy, or in leadership from a person, good boy. That's so light, buddy. That's beautiful. Good boy, buddy. That's nice. See, guys, didn't even think about it. Good. Good. We're going to stop again. That was really beautiful. That was really soft and supple. So if I had one of my horses here, like Smokey, or Legend, or Sundance, or even Lovey, they would just be totally chill right now. You know, the minute we stop, they would be with me. But the fact that he keeps looking around, I mean, there's anxiety there. There's his, he really does worry, he very, gets very buddy sour. So you need to pay attention to those signs or at least let me help you understand the subtlety of all those signs. You know, he's not chill right now. He may have a cocked foot, but he's looking around. So there, he's still not worried, but uh, concerned a little bit. And this takes time because you have to develop the relationship. It's really about the relationship and the relationship in the work and the time that you spend. A lot of the times we bring all these horses out here together. So we get to spend time with them in and out of their, their session of training. Yep. We create that community with us. We are part of that equine community. So important. Good boy, buddy. All right, I'm going to do a little bit more and then we'll call this a we'll call this the end. Good boy. He's such a nice mover. He's very light. Very good boy. Very supple. Good. And still taking me to the gate a little bit. Good. And that's going to take some time. It takes maturity. It doesn't just take training. It does, Def. He's young. I think Bandit might be six. Good. And what has his foundation been? He's been here going in his fifth month of, of re restarting and training now. So the consistency, he's had a few months of, of work at a time before me, but horses need more than a few months, especially horses that have issues. This is not a quick fix, at least not in my book. So I'm going to ask for the trot. Good boy. And then I'll ask for the canter in a little bit. Good, but I want to be able to go past the gate without any tension or opposition. Good. Good boy. He's still his shoulders drifting out. It's all right. I'll pick my battles. At least he didn't take me there like he has. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Good. <laughs> Beautiful. Good. Good. I asked for that transition down. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Let him find some comfort in the speed that he feels more comfortable with. 
And we'll get back up there to the canner. Good. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Good. Good boy. All right, relax. You're leaning a lot, buddy. Good. Remember, the right was harder for him up there in the sun. Good. Come on. Good. Nope. Thank you for the offer. But I want you to be a little softer. Good. A little more pliable. Good boy. Good. 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 He's taking me over. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Good. Relax. Relax. Good boy. You're good. You're good. You're good. 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 Good boy. Good boy. Good. 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 Leaning. 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 Good. 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 I'm going to change direction. Good. 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 Nice. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Beautiful. <laughs> that was a good boy. That was a good boy. Yeah. Yep. Okay. We're going to call that a day with that work. And I'm going to go to the gate and open it. I'm very pleased with that. Good boy. It's a work in progress. And when you have a horse, sometimes the maturity, it just takes the time it takes before the, it clicks for them, before it clicks. That's, the, that's what you have to understand. You just can't push these horses through a program. You have a program to follow, but you've got to treat them individually. So standing here is a huge patience, huge patience. Yep. For every horse, <laughs> not just him. Good boy. Good. So a couple things, you know, you could, we could keep Bandit by himself. We have periodically. You could keep Bandit by himself when, but if you're boarding, it's going to be hard unless they have separate, and I really like horses to be in a herd. I, you know, they have such need for relationship and community, and that's what keeps them healthy and happy. It's just, it's their nature, just like us. Nobody wants to be by themselves. So I don't recommend that. I have used it periodically in, in during the rehab or training period, but I don't ever want to keep a horse by themselves. Um, If this gets any bigger than it is right now, a problem, I will get down and I'll work him. I'll work him hard. But he, you know, right now, we're just gonna give it one more shot and then if he can't keep still, I'll kick his high knee around a little bit here before I do decide to get down and say, I'll give you something to get busy about. Let's go back up there, come on. Good boy, and stand quietly because that's unacceptable behavior. Good boy. So give him that choice. He can stand here quietly or he can get worked. Good. Come on. Come on. Move your butt around. Yep, get it out of there. That's your problem. Let's go. Okay. Yep, that's your problem. You stand quietly. And this is something we've been working on for a while, obviously. Good boy. Good boy. And Bandit has had a lot of fear with gates. And any, he's very, um, is anything squeezing him? Behind him, where you ride, he's been very nervous with the long ropes, everything. Come on. Mm 
Okay, let's go back. And stand quietly. So he's just going to have to make that choice. And you're just going to keep passively persisting. I don't have to get any bigger. I just have to keep doing that. He'll get tired. He'll get tired of getting worked. Every time he makes a decision to be fidgety, impatient. Good breathe. Good breath. Good relax. Relaxation there. Release. Relax, buddy. You're going to go to work again. And let's go. Yeah, so that's where he's punking. Right there's the, a punk. He's holding his breath. You can hear him as I kick at his belly. And so he's just punking out. Okay, so that's where you're going to have to get a grip. That's a punk move. He's getting himself all worked up. So I'll keep doing this maybe 10 times until I say, you know what, we're gonna, I'm going to get down and you're going you're gonna to work. Good, we got a foot cocked. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Much better. I will take that. Good. Good boy. Good boy. This has been a lot to work on, people. He has not been able to stand here. Good. Just relax. Yep. He's bolted through here. It's been a mess. You all right there? Hmm? Nope. Relax. And get yourself all worked up. Just relax. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Yeah. Believe me, some horses will try to rear right now. He has bolted. He used to not be able to stand here. Good boy. I'm going to go a little bit further and ask him to wait again. Good boy. Good. Good. Yeah. Good boy. And that's how buddy sour he is, people. That's how buddy sour he is. He sees his herd. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Good, good boy. Yeah, just relax. Good. And we're going to go out a little bit more. Good, good boy. Believe me, it's progress. It's at least he's not bolting, but is this going to be easy for his owner who doesn't have the confidence or the, just doesn't have the experience or knowledge? No. That's why he's here. I don't expect you guys to be able to figure this out. It takes a lot of experience and skill. Good. No, oh, sweetie. Come here. Good. We're going to go out the gate. Some days are better than others. Good boy. And just turn around. Good. And just wait. Yep, some days are better than others, aren't they? Good boy. Patience is a virtue. And we're going to go back in. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Good. And it's not because his training experience is bad. Trust me, it's not. Good. We're going to go this way. In, good, good boy. Yep. In, good boy. And right over here, good. Nope, this way. Thank you. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Good. Yep. Good. There you go. Good 
nicely done. Good. And there you go. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Yeah. All right. We're going to head on up to the barn. Thank you. Good boy. <laughs>